Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to display the related post site for the specific publication using the post relations. So here from the dashboard, go to Jet Engine Post Relations and add new post relations. Give it a name. And here you select uh, the parent. So the post site that will be a parent of another one. So let's leave it as posts. And as a child, we're going to choose the authors, which is the custom post type that I've created. So here you choose the relation type. One post can only be related to one other post. One to many means that one can be related to many posts. And many to many means that many posts can be related to many other posts. And I'm going to choose many to many relation type. And here you have to choose whether you want to add the meta box, allowing you to set the specific related posts to the post of the parent post type and the child post type. I'm going to leave both enabled since I have many to many relation type. Then to save the changes, click add relation. Now, if I go to one of the post type that now have post relations and open one of the posts, I'm going to see this meta box. And here I can add the post that I want to be related to this specific post by simply typing in the titles. So here we go. And now we need to click update. Now, when it comes to displaying related posts, there is two ways you can do it. Let's see one of them first. Let's go to Jet Engine listings. And here we'll need to create a new listing for the posts. And let's find the particular post type that now has the relations. And here in the list, and what we can do is to search for the dynamic field widget and drop it on our page. And then the source, let's choose metadata. And in the meta field, we will need to choose parent posts. So since we've added the related post to the post that belongs to a child post type, we have the parent post option. But if we were creating a listing for the parent post type, we would have the child post option in here. So once we choose the parent post meta field, we'll have an array appearing in here. And what we need to do is to go to filter field output, enable it, and in the callback drop down, choose the related post list. And here we go, you've got the list of the related posts that we have added to our post. So if you want to display only one value, so only one related post, you can enable the single value option. If you want these posts to be linked, so to be clickable, You can enable the add links to related post option. Here you choose the related list HTML tag. So it can be also displayed like that or like that in a numbered or unnumbered list. And here you can choose the delimiter. And I can continue creating the listing for the post type. You drop the title in there, the image, and now we have the list of the related posts in there. Another way you can do that is using the listing grid widget. First, since we already have the listing where we have saved our related posts, we'll go back to the dashboard, go to Crocker block, my library, and then go to the single tab and choose to create a single page template. There in the left hand bottom corner, under this little cogwheel icon, you're going to see the settings for the conditions. Or you can choose the particular post type for which you want this single page template to be applied to. This way, this is going to become the template for the author's post type. Then I'm going to select that very post that I have assigned the related post to, to be our preview for this template. Then I'm going to save and refresh. Then I drop the dynamic field and the dynamic image widgets. And then I also add the listing grid 
and from the drop down list I choose the listing for authors that very grid that now has my related post. So this is how you can add the related posts to the specific post.